Carve pumpkins lit by candles, a sure sign that Halloween is here. People have been making jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween for centuries. The practice originated from an Irish myth about a man nicknamed Stingy Jack. According to the story, Stingy Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. True to his name, Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for his drink, so he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin that Jack could use to buy their drinks. Once the devil did so, Jack decided to keep the money and put it in his pocket next to a silver cross, which prevented the devil from changing back to his original form. Jack eventually freed the devil under the condition that he would not bother Jack for one year and that should Jack die, he would not claim his soul. The next year, Jack again tricked the devil into climbing a tree to pick a piece of fruit. While he was up the tree, Jack carved a sign of the cross into the tree's bark so that the devil could not come down until the devil promised Jack not to bother him for 10 more years. Not long after this, Jack died. As the legend goes, God would not allow such an unsavoury figure into heaven. The devil, upset by the trick Jack had played on him, and keeping his word not to claim his soul, would not allow Jack into hell. He sent Jack off into the dark night with only a burning coal to light his way. Jack put the coal into a carved out turnip and has been roaming the earth ever since. The Irish began to refer to this ghostly figure as Jack of the Lantern and then simply Jack o' Lantern. The O being an abbreviation of of and is used still to this day by many Irish families in their surnames like O'Malley, O'Reilly, O'Neill. In Ireland and Scotland, people began to make their own versions of Jack's lanterns by carving scary faces into turnips or potatoes and placing them into windows or near doors to frighten away Stingy Jack and other wandering evil spirits. In England, large beetroots were used. Immigrants from these countries took the jack-o'-lantern tradition to America with them. They soon found that pumpkins and native fruit of America made the perfect jack-o'-lanterns much easier to carve. So a tradition that started centuries ago in Ireland is now very much American in the fact that we all prefer to carve our jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins. <laughs>